When styling links, it's important to understand how to make use of pseudo classes so you can style your link states effectively. A CSS pseudo class is a keyword that is added to a selector and specifies a special state of the selected element. For example, colon hover can be used to change a button's color when the user's mouse is hovering over a link. Pseudo classes let you apply style to an element not only in relation to the content of the document tree, but also in relation to external factors, like the history of the navigator or the position of the mouse. The first thing to understand is the concept of link states. These are different states that the links can exist in. These can all be styled using different pseudo classes. Links have a destination. These can be styled using the link pseudo class. We also have the visited pseudo class, a link that has already been visited, one that exists in the browser's history, can be styled using the visited pseudo class. Visited links are often overlooked, but they are very helpful, especially on larger websites, since they give the user a visual clue as to pages they've already visited. A link that is hovered over by a user's mouse pointer is styled using the hover pseudo class. This offers feedback to users that they're hovering over a link and it's good practice. The best way to do this is to change the background color or change the text color or maybe remove the underline. A link that is activated, this means you're actually physically clicking your mouse down. This is styled with the active pseudo class. This provides visual feedback to the user to indicate that they have clicked a link so that they know to wait. Let's explore how we can use the pseudo class selectors to customize links. Here's the page that I've built that we'll be working on for this example. It is worth noting that many of my links are using the hash or pound sign. This is put in place of a real URL. We call this a placeholder link. A lot of times when we're developing websites and we don't have the URL yet, or we don't have the additional pages built, we'll use these null links to act as placeholders. I also have an absolute link that is linking out to a website. If we look at the rendered page, you can see that most of my links are underlined and blue. This is the regular link state. This indicates that the link has not been visited and that it's waiting for the user to click so that they can visit it. If a link appears as being purple, that is the browser's default color that the link has been visited. So this is our visual clue that we've already visited this website at some point. When you come to a link and you hold your mouse down, the link will turn to red. This is the active link state. Most people will not spend a lot of time holding their mouse down, but they will quickly click and they might see the red. This is the visual clue that you are activating the link. By default, links do not have hover states, but we can change that with CSS. Let's go ahead and let's style these links using CSS so we can reformat how they look. Here is our starting CSS. What we'll do is we'll build some text-based links so we, that we can restyle the way the links look on this particular page. In order to style links, you may be tempted just to use the A selector. We can definitely do this. So if I use my A selector, I can go about changing the color of my links. I'm going to change the link color to a different shade of blue. I'm going to go ahead and use the hex value of 5499DO. Now, if I go ahead and save my page and we refresh, you can see that both the regular link state and the visited link state have all changed to this shade of blue. The reason why is because I'm using the blanket selector of A. This is including all of the states of the link. If we want to be more specific, we would add the pseudo class. If I add colon and then I write link and we resave our page, when I go to the browser, you can see that the links that have not been visited remain blue, but the visited link now changes to purple. Remember, this is our visited link state. If we want to style the way the visited links look, then we need to use the pseudo class for visited. So I'll write a colon visited, 
And if we go ahead and specify a different color here, and we'll use a hex value to make the visited state more of a maroon. If we save the page and we refresh, you can see that now the visited state has changed to be the newly specified state. Now let me go ahead and make a style for the hover state on my links. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of the text. We'll make the text change to a golden shade. I'm also going to use my text decoration property to remove the underline. So we'll specify that the underline be changed to none. If we refresh our page now, you can see when I hover over my links, the color changes and the underline disappears. Currently, if I click down on the link, the color doesn't change. So if we want that to be styled as well, we'll need to add in another pseudo class. This is going to be for the active state of the button. Once again, I'm going to use color and I'll go ahead and plug in a hex value. And now when I save my page and we refresh, nothing changes until we actually click down on one of the links. When we're holding our mouse down, now we can see the active state of the link. It is worth mentioning that the order in which you create your pseudo class links is very important. They must go in the order that we see here. Link, visited, hover, and active. Now it is not required that you use all four states. You can really use any number of states when you're creating your links. If you do use them though, they do need to be in this order. I would recommend that you remember the order by the love ha acronym or love hate. We have the L for link, the V for visited, the H for hover, and the A for active. We have restructured these links with fairly simple properties, but you can add as many properties as you want. Let's go ahead and let's style this last link down here, and let's make this text-based link look more like a button. If we check back in our HTML, you can see that I've defined a class of button on this last link. I'll use that to create the CSS. My selector is going to be a.btn colon link. What we'll do is we'll specify the text color to be white. I'm going to change the background color and I'll plug in a hex value for that. Now because this is going to look more like an actual button, I'm going to also remove the underline. You want to be careful about removing underlines on links. You don't want to impact the usability of the page, but clearly if we're going to make this link look like a button, we don't need the underline anymore. I'm also going to add some padding all the way around and let's save our page and see what this looks like. As you can see, my link now appears more like a button. There are all sorts of other properties we could add to the button, but let's just go ahead and let's add some of our other pseudo class states. I'm going to style this so that when we hover over, the button changes. Once again, I'll use a.btn colon hover. I'm going to change the background color. I'll define a color for the text and let's see what that looks like. When I hover over the button, you can see that the changes are going to take effect. As you can see with CSS, we really have the ability to make our links stand out and also work with any color scheme that we may be utilizing on our website. As you learn more CSS, you might find more creative ways to style your links, but this is a great start. The most important thing that I want you to take away from this particular exercise is making sure that when you're using the pseudo class links, you're declaring them in your CSS file in the appropriate order to ensure that all of the pseudo states are going to work correctly. It is not necessary to use all four of the pseudo class states. You can see on the button link, we're only using two of these, but when you do define them, you need to make sure that you're using the correct order. Now you know how you can get much more creative making links on your web pages.